Posted getting money on the east side. I dropped a pen and told that bitch pull up. Never won by that night, yo. All right, so we're hearing news that Eric Holder got. Got you know what I'm saying? Got a little buck fifty. You know what I'm saying? Little buck fifty. Hit him in the head with the. Yeah, boy, he got hit with the cheeks, man. He got hit in the cheeks, all the way down to the ass crack. You know what I'm saying? From like, he, he, yeah, he got moved to in jail now. Everyone knows it's because of what he done. And just the other day, we was talking about um cowboy going on the stand and testifying for his boy and all of that. So now we're here to discuss, like, you know what I'm saying? Is is people happy about this or is there more to come? Like, what's what's going on with the situation? You know, I think um, <clears throat> there's definitely more to come, uh, come with the situation, especially with the autopsy report that's come out as well about obviously the injuries that, that Nip suffered and stuff. So, you know, all that information is going to, you know, stoke up a lot of anger. You know, just I don't know. Cause especially when I read about, the, not read about it, but when I read the autopsy report, it was just like, right, like, like Eric really did that to him. You know what I mean? So, yeah. And then it comes down to a lot of things, especially with like whack 100 and shit like that, where it's like people just questioning, like, are these guys actually riding for Nip now, or like, are you man gonna like do something? Like obviously, I think, I think everyone's riding out for Nip to be honest. No, bro. facts, but obviously, if you're looking at it from a you know his boys like you know the the, the rolling sixties and everyone else affiliated <laughs> with Nip, it's kind of like from the outside looking in, we don't really know what's been going on in the last few years. Uh, like, we, everything's we, just we can we, we can insinuate. I think the the way I think this is just a warning shot. This is to let everyone know, like, look, yeah. If y'all niggas think with the West Coast don't handle their business, like this is. This is just them showing the world, look, man, this, this guy's not going to get away with what he done. Now, as far as, like, people wanting Nipsey's own friends and his family and his boys to go out and kill Eric Holder or commit murders in the name of Nipsey Hussle, that's just stupid because the feds is going to be onto them guys like white on rice. So none of them niggas can make no moves. So the way they do it, if, if they got to wait 25 years, three years, it, it just seems like justice will be served in it you know what i'm saying hopefully not, let me not say hopefully but i don't want to condone black on black violence and obviously i don't want no one to get killed brutally but if you live by the sword you die by the sword and you know what i'm saying who eric holder took out he was a very um a very high ranking esteemed person in the neighborhood and he took him out over senseless killing over over words over a man calling him a snitch now he's behind bars, the niggas getting cut up like like kebab meats and all of that, like shish kebab. I think this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning to be honest. So in your opinion, <coughs> what what's the story in it? What's the lesson to be learned in this situation? The, the lesson to be learned is that people for Eric is gonna get go home free or nothing's gonna happen and they're just the lesson is something's gonna happen to this kid. 100% yeah it's, it's, it started <laughs> it started you know what I'm saying that that him getting moved to I'm pretty sure it's over some gang shit and I'm, I'm pretty sure the root of it is, is Nipsey's death so yeah see like me personally I don't, I don't want to condone violence but I'm not surprised this guy got dealt with the way he got dealt with innit? you know what I'm saying and I'm pretty sure what did you hear about the report um, of, of what of what happened to him no no I never read the report I just heard like he got sliced up in prison what did the actual report say uh, I can't give it to you verbatim but basically he was in a holding cell and two of them just jumped him and just started what just two guys him. randomly jumped him no I think they're in the same holding cell with him <laughs> so and two random guys in the holding cell just jumped him just jumped him so obviously that back just put on his head I don't know how it was worked out to the point where both of them are in the same holding cell as him. So I'm thinking, what, the <coughs> the guards might be involved as well. I don't know, obviously, I'm just assuming <laughs> right now. But how do you two guys that's on smoke end up in the same holding cell as you? Like, how does that work? So I don't know. That's easy. That's easy work. The, the guards don't even have to be involved in that. It's just right time, right place. And I'm guessing that's what it really was. Right time, right place. 
so right, quick, the right niggas caught out wind of him. You know what I'm saying? So, so a quick question, right? So if you if you put that bag on his head, right? Are you, would you pay out for that um, for that attempt? Um, would you pay out for that? Uh, okay, cool. They they, you know they what? cut it because it sounds like it got done by some jail niggas. I'm guessing they will get a little sign. They will get a little come through and that. Uh, yeah, a little sign. I don't know about look after mumsy, but drop, drop a little sack in it. Just, just I doubt a sack, but they might get dropped a little sack to them in jail. A little satin, mm. little satin, they might get dropped. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I don't, I don't think this is the last we'll be hearing of Nipsey Hussle's murderer, his killer. You know what I'm saying? Just suffering the repercussions of his actions. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think people didn't think this was gonna happen. And this actually happened. I ain't gonna lie, I was beginning to think it wasn't gonna happen. Like I, exactly. I, and I know a lot of people thought that, to be honest. And not to like justify it and say what what is happening to him is is right or it should be happening. But yeah, like the way the way like this gang culture thing spoken about on the West Coast, I, I would have thought this nigga would have been dead already in it, but. I'm not a gang member from the West Coast, innit? I don't know how them things operate, innit? It's just, just all the politics and that. Yeah, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? So, just to hear what happened to him just now, I ain't surprised. And like I said, I don't think this will be the last of it. What's, what's, what, what are you saying? He's got a very, very <clears throat> long time ahead, like, obviously, with the incoming sentence. Like, obviously, he's going to get sentenced, in my opinion. He ain't going to bust case for that, but... Yes. With what's gonna happen with him now, it's yeah, you killed someone that was notable, you know. So it's gonna follow you around. You're never gonna be, you know, you're never gonna be ever. Uh, you never have a chance to just rest easy through your sentence. You're never gonna just be able to just focus on you and get through your bit. You're always gonna have to look over your shoulder, and someone's always gonna be coming for get back. So it's just, it's, it's a life of stress now. So yeah, Eric, down to yourself. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure he's got a target on his back for the rest of his life, you know what I'm saying? In the book of Genesis, it talks about um, the creator giving um, Cain, Cain a mark on his forehead and banishing him to the land of Nod, and I feel like <laughs> it's, 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 it's a bit of poetic justice for um, Eric Holder. Do I wish death on the guy? Not at all. You know what I'm saying? Whatever Nipsey or, and his family want, I think that's what should be ha- happen. That's what should happen to him, and I feel justice should be served in some form or fashion. And I don't, and I don't want to promote death, but yeah, he should get a a nice, firm, severe sentence, a very firm, solid sentence. And long live Nipsey Hussle, man. The marathon still continues. Oh, yeah. yeah, Eric Holder. I'm pretty sure this ain't the last we hear of your name in the headlines, and. Yeah, boy. Let's let's see what happens to you next, fam. Yeah, so, Jam Beasy, what's your final thoughts, man? Yeah, Eric, man. Just hold those stitches. You're gonna be getting, <laughs> man. You're gonna you got a lifetime of stitches coming for you, my guy, man. So yeah, man. Just get that skin ready. <laughs> skin gonna bubble up like a keloid in that Facts. family, cause you get me, man. But that's 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 what happens. That's what happens, man. You you touch the real one touch the real one you know what i'm saying I, I, I ain't gonna lie before nipsey died i wasn't listening to too much of his music like that i think three years before he died i was nipsey hustle all day but you know what i'm saying nonetheless i was definitely a big fan of nipsey got to see him perform you know what i'm saying and i'm and i'm in the uk and it's because of jambezi that happened and i ain't, 2008 yeah <laughs> I ain't, I ain't, no, 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 I ain't, no, it was no, a bit no, late, it was bad. a bit late, I think it was like 2011. My bad, it was 2011. It was like 2011. Yeah, it was 2011, definitely. Like 2011 times, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and that was definitely because of Jambezi. Jambezi hooked that one up, innit? So, yeah, man, long live Nip. Oh, still got uh, the footage as well, but yeah, There we'll you drop, go, with we'll it. Drop, <laughs> we'll drop, we'll drop <laughs> that footage. <bro. laughs> Imagine we edit it to this video. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't think that's going to happen, fam. Hopefully a miracle happens, innit? But, yeah, de- actually, you never know. But yeah, man, long live Nip, Eric Holder, justice will be served. And on that note, I, I, I don't know, I don't know what to say, fam. You want, you want to give your two cents before we go, Jambezi? Yeah, Eric, obviously, man's going to be locked into whatever happens for, to you from now until someone, you know, takes your head off. So keep the art days coming. 
Yeah, man, and make sure you and R. Kelly look after each other, innit, yeah? I'm out. Scoo, scoo, scoo!